the game to see the boxing boys. Well, we know the fight again, June 9th, here at the Staples Center. Uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, Steven Espinoza and Showtime for their commitment uh, to put this car together. I'd like to, of course, thank the man which uh, makes it all happen, uh, Al Heyman, my good friend Al Heyman, for keep on doing these great events and great fights, meaningful fights, not tune-up fights, but really high-stake fights, and that's exactly what this fight here is. And I'd like to uh, acknowledge and thank as well uh, my co-promoter, Tom Brown, uh, represented here by Brittany. Uh, a pleasure to work with you guys here on this great event on June 9th from the Staples Center. Tickets are starting at $50. I can tell you they're going fast. Uh, we have already a gate which is uh, larger than uh, in dollar terms than what it was uh, the last time around. So this is going to be a sellout crowd at the Staples Center, so make sure you go and get your tickets. Now, how can you make a card like Lars and Santa Cruz bigger than it already is? Well, by adding another world title fight. And by adding a world title fight between two very, very talented fighters. With Austin Trout, we have a true gentleman outside of the ring and really a magician, one of the best fighters inside of the ring. And he knows at this point in his career how important a win is and he realizes what a win over Charlo would do to his career. So believe me, he will be ready and he has one of the best trainers in the world, Barry Hunter right there uh, in his corner, a man who always seems to come up with the winning and with the right uh, game plan. But then you have Jermel Charlo here, but let me just say a few words about Jermel and his twin brother, Jermal. Um, what they are today, you know, there's a lot of great fighters. There's a lot of talented fighters who are very skillful. But tell me five, because they're not five. Five fighters who combine what Floyd Mayweather had, the skills and the charisma the skills and the charisma and the personality. I, I mean, I'm standing here and I was watching all the media guys around the table there with the Charles. The last time I've seen that many media guys around one or two guys was when I promoted Floyd Mayweather. And that's what these guys are. You know, you always, I always get asked, who is gonna be, who is gonna be following in Floyd's footsteps and so on? Now, they're not following Floyd because they're not Floyd. They're the Charles, they're the Charles twins. They are doing it their, their way, and they're doing an absolutely amazing job. Today, in my opinion, the two Charlos are pound for pound. Number one and number two, when it comes to charisma and skills and the overall package, the eight package, the eight package. You can't learn, you can't teach, you either got it or you don't, as they do. Now, Having said that, they both, every fight they go in, they have a big target on their back, just like Floyd did. Whoever they fight, they know that their opponent is going to be in the best shape of his life. That, I can tell you, best shape of, the, of his life, hungry and knowing what it will do, that is what makes Austin Trowels that dangerous of an opponent. But Jermel knows that, and he will be ready. He's been training hard, and uh, I'm sure both fighters can't wait to face each other on June 9th. It's a pleasure now for me to, to, for me to introduce to you both fighters. First, uh, I'd like to ask up uh, Austin Trout with a record of 31 at 4 with 17 knockout, fighting out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, he is the former WBA Super Welterweight World Champion, and I had the pleasure to, into, to promote several of his fights, including his, his, when he defeated Miguel Cotto at the Madison Square Garden. So please, come on up, boss. Giving all praises to the Most High, I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank Al Hammond for making this happen, and for putting me again against the best. That's all I ask for is to fight the best. And here I am again fighting one of the best. Uh, much respect to Charlo. He didn't have to take this fight, um, but he did. So now we get to go ahead and get it on. Um, 
I'm just here really to stop the Charlo show. Like, the last time when I fought his brother, you know what I mean? I remember Showtime was already saying, you know, history's gonna be made and everything. I ain't even stepping in the ring yet. Uh, so, here I am again with another opportunity to stop the Charlo show and start the Trout show. Thank you, thank you, Austin. Mm. Now, uh, with Jermail Charlo, it's actually not his fight, first fight here at the Staples Center. You fought here before, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on the undercard of uh, Victor Ortiz and Cosacito Lopez. Uh, and so I'm welcoming uh, Jermail back here uh, to the Staples Center, clearly one of the best, biggest venues in the world when it comes to boxing. It seems to really elevate the sport, the fights, and the fighters, and the crowd whenever there's a fight at the Staples Center. Uh, he is uh, trained, Jermel is trained by Derek James in Dallas, uh, but I understand that you're coming now here to Santa Monica to finish up uh, training, and uh, then of course uh, enter the ring here on June the 9th at Staples Center. He has made two title defenses, both of them sensational, sensational knockout, uh, uh, highlight real KOs uh, against Charles Hadley and Erickson Lubin. And now it is a sincere pleasure for me to introduce to you somebody who I had the pleasure with to work for many, many fights in the beginning of his career until, until uh, recently. <laughs> and that is with the record of 30 and 0, the undefeated WBC superstar and world champion, Jamel Charlo. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you for the, the, the great introduction. Uh, you guys are awesome. I like I like boxing. I love boxing. This is what I do. Um, Austin Charles is is a, is a great fighter. You know, this is a fight where I got to get in there and really uh, put my mind to it and do do what I have to do. Just like the last fights, uh, you know, we, we understand that those individuals were were intending to win, and that's their job. Their job is to come in to defeat me and try to beat me. Um, yeah, this Charlotte's show gonna keep going, baby. I ain't stopping. We gonna continue. This is, they know the wave. They know what it is right now. And I'm not. I'm not worried about what, the fight that he had with my brother, because the fight he had with my brother was um, back in 2016. And so every year we're growing and we're changing. And every fight, they you could go back and try to study as much as you can. But I'm not gonna be that fighter that y'all thought I was the last fight. Um, but. Thank God I didn't have to go through so much like Trout did in his last fight. He had to go through a whole bunch of fighting, all kind of beers. So yeah, you could come try to fight your urgency and your desperation to try to rebuild your career, but you know really what time it is. I I I, I have nothing else to say about the, the individual career because I don't down or diss nobody because he's a man. Like I said, he has to come feed his family, but just like I do, you know what I mean. And I got a career and a legacy. And, in an awesome team. I do want to thank all my, my, my peers. I want to thank uh, Al Heyman. Um, I want to thank Richard Shepard for helping put this on, and Brittany and um, Kelly Swanson team. Lisa, thank you guys. Y'all are, all, all are awesome. We, uh, Brandon and the brothers, everybody. This whole little organization, the whole boxing thing, we doing our thing. And um, right now, me and my brother, we're forced to be wrecking, all right? Listen, we're training super hard. I mean, when I tell you, I know that, like, uh, you know, Nobody gonna line up and face Michael Jordan, even at practice, because they gonna put a video on and say, oh, I, I schooled Michael Jordan. So even in camp, yeah, you can dog train the dog sport, and I'm not leaving it in the, in, in the training camp. I'm taking it with me to the fight. So with that being said, you, um, they think that I'm the smaller twin. Of course, my brother's one, one, uh, 160. When he fought Trump, uh, it was a struggle to make 160. The difference between me is I make once I make 154. I'm, I'm sorry. It was a struggle for him to make 154, and I make this this way easy. Um, I'm growing. 20, 28 years old. Coming up May 19th. That's our birthday. So y'all wish me and my brother a happy birthday. Um, <laughs> many of you, yeah, <laughs> you know, um, all the charisma stuff. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all y'all get these guys talk that mess. We give them feedback, and when we give them feedback. Sometimes it's, it could be inappropriate or it could be bad, but you know, who gives a fuck? That's how I feel. I, I don't care what they think about this. You know, we, we train hard and you know, we live our life the way we live it. And I feel that him and his coach has tried to come and beat the Charlottes for a long time and um that's cool. Derek James is a different animal in the gym. And training um with the nun dominant world champion Earl Spence and training with different guys that all, everyone that we train with are undefeated. He back in Houston or somewhere else training with guys that 
You know, they, they not on my caliber. And that's where they make these mistakes at. I'm a different animal in the ring. I am a lion, I am lions only. And I will always represent this and I will always stand by my side. I will always have my brother stand by my side and we do this together. Um, we don't want to watch you train. We don't want to watch you fight. We don't want to think about none of that. We just want to continue to do what we got to do. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Let this be a good training camp for you. And, and um, you know, I like the Austin Child career. You know, he fought Miguel Cotto. He fought some legends. He fought Canelo. I was there. He, he even remembered. My brother fought on the other car. Yeah, we was growing up and watching everybody just do their thing. Now it's our time. There's the time to shine. And the more they talk, the more they dig their stuff in the hole. So, Mr. Keep Running Your Mouth, let them know that. Um, when the time comes, Austin Charles is a great fighter, and he's not the t type of guy that do all of the other stuff that a lot of fighters do. And that's why we took this fight. We want to keep it calm, you know. And I know they um, had maximum security at the, the last fight, so we don't need all of that right now. What we really need is just to get in there and fight and just show our skills and do what we do. So, see y'all June 9th. Everybody get y'all tickets. Um, it should be an amazing fight. Abner Mars is one of my uh, favorite fighters. I like his punch ratio. I like Santa Cruz. Them guys fought before, so. Um, I'm a fan of everyone. I'm a fan of this boxing world. I do this, and I love it. Thank you. Excellent. Very well said. Uh, very, very well said. Both of them really two gentlemen outside of the ring as well, and fierce warriors and competitors inside of the ring. As I said, make sure you get your tickets. You're going to see two main events in one night for as little as $50. The legendary Staples Center here in Los Angeles. Don't miss this opportunity to truly see some of the best fighters in the world, two world title fights right here in Los Angeles. Uh, we're going to post the fighters now, right? And uh, see you then. Thank you very much. Come on up, guys. Come on up. Come on up. History, baby. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Right. 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 Special insurance. <laughs> <laughs> well, he deserves some Thank type you. Of special um, let's get insurance. one of both Charlos. We'll get one with uh, Austin. Maybe I'll be busy getting fucked up. Sanctuary, right? Here we go. Come out here. Huh? They'll be busy getting fucked up. Yeah, they're busy getting fucked up. They, you know, do away with the. Do you want to take this? 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 I'm trying to be the picture. Wait a minute, we're going to do a Charlo picture and then a team trout picture, okay? Okay. Y'all know this is my chief second too, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that way. Yeah, I'm still in fight mode, you know, it's only been a week or two. The voice of the people, the boxing voice. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime one of our videos drops. Ain't no other sight in the game, see the boxing voice.